Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing. I'm your host, Joe, and on this episode, I'm gonna go with my firefighter buddy, Keith Char. Keith Char is my HFD classmate, and during recruit class, Pride 88, he took me out uh, oil fishing, and it is awesome. So thank you again, Keith, uh, for teaching me how to oil fish. I'm gonna go again with him and uh, to catch oil, which we know is AKA bonefish, because it has a million bones. Uh, we all know that it is a great, great fighting fish, and it's not only great fighting, but it also tastes great. The two ways you kinda gotta do it is either scrape it off the bone and make a raw version, which is lomio eel, which is basically a scraped poke, or you can make fish cake, which is also super good. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna just make the lomio eel because it is one of my favorite. So, okay, let's just get to it. Let's go holo holo. Here we are um, at Brother Keith's house, taking me to an undisclosed location on Oahu, but it was blowing. It was so windy today. It was crazy. Uh, we're catching just the upward tide, but it's a real low one. It's pretty shallow out here. Amazing we can do this on the Y&I. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing is actually I use a really short lead line and a longer leader, maybe about two foot leader. Uh, I was using 30 pound tests with a BKN circle hook. He was he was using like 60 pound test with like a double old circle hook. So uh, we'll see who catches. But And uh, what's really neat is actually Keith made this six foot aluminum tri uh, pole holder that is actually super tall, it's like six feet, but we have to sink it down and yes, I'm on, I'm on. All right, all right, here we go. Put some pressure, set the hook. Oof, it is heavy, 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 but it is not fighting, not like a pupil and not like an oil. So, you know what that means? Probably gonna be a puhi, <laughs> a big fat eel or something that just came by and just grabbed my bait. Yep, <laughs> eel. Hey, can you, can you take them off? Yeah. <laughs> All right, catch and release this bugger. Cause only uh, keep what you go eat, so let's let this guy go. Here you go, peace out, yo. All right, rebait, set our lines back out. We try to check bait every half hour at least. All right, just sit and wait, have a bit. Oh, ooh, on, 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 on. Oh man, it was pulling so hard I couldn't even get it out of the holder. By the time I got it out of the holder, it was at least 100 yards down the reef, so I was just praying that it wouldn't snap. Oh no! Yeah. Ah. Oh. I can't do bus line, I think. I know, it's just turning my chest this time. I don't feel nothing. I don't know, bruh. I think it's small. Oh, Not. I think it's a while, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. This is not good. You feel it rubbing? Okay, it came off. Am I? Okay. Uh, yeah. Feel light. Feels like me, I don't know. Twa, I think. It doesn't feel like anything. Oh. Am I back over there? This way? Maybe? Well, which way should I go? Which way is it? I was like, yeah, I never feel like a wheel. I was like, I feel like I could. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's a perfect hookup. Some it's sash? It's not supporting my fucking fat line period. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had something. I see the thing like bounce you. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. And your line's too good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I might as well finish these. Oh, is this yours? Yeah, this has got to be yours. I was almost done, I think, right? No? I don't know, either one. Ah! <laughs> it don't matter. Mm. Cheers, we're not full of Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you, man. All right, at least we caught something. But I guess now it's time to go shoot the cruise with Brother Keith in his little hot rod over here. Go pick up some... Uh, some poopoos from Fort Ruger Market. They actually have really good dried aku and chicharron. So might as well pick some poopoo up for the boys. All right, time to head home. In the rain, of course, but uh, it was a great day. Uh, thanks again to Brother Keith. Time to get home. All right, now that I'm home, this is what I gotta do. It's go clean fish. The easiest way to clean this fish is, uh, people do like the rolling pin method and all that, which they cut up, freeze it, cut off the tail, and roll it pin it out. However, when you're making lomi oil, you kind of want it to be fresher so you can age it for a day if you want. Um, I just scale it. You don't have to scale it. You can just scale the top, but I scale it because I use the skins for crab bait later. And then I scale it and I actually cut from the dorsal fin down. So I feel butterf butterfly fillet, both sides from the top down. And then what I do is I scrape the meat with a spoon and then you just try to uh, scrape it and then the bones will kind of stick to the skin and the meat will come out and you'll see in this next section I'll show you how to make the lomi oil. Okay so here's our finished product you just feel for bones you kind of just massage it you feel any little bones or anything or you see any bones just just you just grab it and pull it out like here we go see there's a little tiny one but Guess that's why they call it lomi oil. You really have to lomi it, which is like massage in Hawaiian. So you just feel any little tiny bones like this. All right, that looks pretty good. See, really tiny, tiny hairs, like a bone like that small. That's why sometimes the big ones are easier, but this is just to show you guys what. Uh, a quick how to make. Okay, now you just add a little water. I just added a little water just to thin it out because it is like almost, it's so pure that it's thick. So you just, you can make it whatever consistency you want. I don't like my, make mine too watery, but I add a little, that way I can mix in um, just a little Hawaiian salt. So you can buy a pre-made mix out like this. This is like a good brand, but Make your own, it's basically just a lye salt um, and a little other stuff. So just grab like a, maybe a teaspoon and put that right there. Mix that in, low me it in. Oh, look, see one more bowl. And then once you have it actually water, it's actually way easier to mix and find the bones. So that looks about right. Um, I may add some uh, green onions, uh, so tomato um, and, ma and sweet Maui onion in here, like just diced if you want. If this, but this is the basic recipe. Just to make a real clean, simple, easy one. This is it, enjoy guys. Mmm, so good, so good, so good. Uh, in this one, I added diced green onions, Maui onions, and diced tomatoes. You could also add limu kohu, opihi, dry shrimp, and inamora. But think about it as a poke, a blank poke canvas that you can add anything that you really want to it. Maybe in the comments below, you could tell me what you put in to your lomi oil. But I love this. This is one of my favorite ways to uh, eat this fish. All right. See you guys in the next one. Thank you guys again for joining me on another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Again, I'm not sponsored. I'm just doing what I love to do, which is fish and dive. And if you love fishing and diving as much as I do, I hope that you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, remember to take care of yourself, take care of others, and as always, fish safe and fish with aloha. All right, see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.